Today's Bible story is the parable of the unforgiving servant. A parable is a story with a hidden meaning. Jesus often told parables to help people learn more about what God's kingdom is like and show them how they could have the best life of all. What's that, Francis John? You're fed up. Why is that? Your friend Wexton keeps forgetting to shut the door of your new honey store. And yesterday a cat got in and broke three jars of honey. Wexton keeps saying he's sorry, but he keeps forgetting. And if he does it again, then you think you'll have to tell him he can't have any more of your honey. Oh, dear. Well, in our story today, we hear about how Jesus helped Peter and others to understand more about what forgiveness means. Are you ready for our story, the parable of the unforgiving servant? People love to listen to the stories that Jesus told. He told stories about things that people did and saw. One day, Peter came to Jesus and asked, Lord, if my brother keeps on doing things to hurt me, how many times do I have to forgive him? Seven times? No, not seven times, answered Jesus, but 70 times seven. Then Jesus told this story. The kingdom of God is like a king who decided to collect the money his servants owed him. One servant owed him several thousand pounds of silver. He was not able to pay the money, so the king ordered that the man and everything he owned be sold, even his wife and children. The money would be used to pay the king what the servant owed. But the servant fell on his knees and begged the king, Be patient with me, I will pay you everything I owe. The king felt sorry for him. He told the servant he did not have to pay. He let him go free. Later, that same servant found another servant who owed him a hundred silver coins. He grabbed him around the neck and said, pay me the money you owe me. The other servant fell on his knees and begged him, be patient with me. I will pay you everything I owe. But the first servant refused to be patient. Instead, he had the servant put in jail until he could pay everything he owed. All the other servants saw what happened. They felt very sorry for the man. They went and told the king everything that had happened. Then the king called his servant in and said, You evil servant, you begged me to forgive you your debt, and I said you did not have to pay anything. So you should have given that other man who serves with you the same mercy I gave you. The king was very angry, so he put the servant in jail to be punished and he had to stay in jail until he could pay everything he owed. Then Jesus said, This king did the same as my heavenly father will do to you. You must forgive your brother or sister with all your heart, or my heavenly father will not forgive you. In our story, Jesus wanted Peter to know that we need to forgive people as many times as needed. Jesus told the parable of the unforgiving servant to help people understand that God is like the king in the story. God can forgive us even if we do something really bad. But as well as God forgiving us, we need to forgive other people too. I wonder, has anyone ever done anything that has hurt you? How did that make you feel? Are you ready yet to allow them another chance? Or do you need to work on that? You may like to close your eyes and think about that now. I'm going to say a prayer. And if you want to make it your prayer too, then please say men at the end after me. Dear God, Thank you that when I'm really sorry, you will always forgive me. Please show me how I can forgive someone, even when it is very hard. Amen. What's that, Francis John? You were wondering what Peter's brother Andrew kept doing that made Peter ask about forgiving him. I don't know. You think Peter must have felt he was being very generous when he suggested forgiving his brother seven times. Hmm. 
But after hearing what Jesus said in the story, maybe you should be ready to forgive Wexen again and let him have some honey. But just wait until the 491st time he forgets to shut the door. Yes. Well, thank you for joining us for the power of the unforgiving servant. We look forward to you joining us again soon. Goodbye and God bless.